We are Iowa's most accurate forecast. All right, one of the top headlines, what's happening outside? So we're taking you there right now with a live look at I-235 over by Valley West Drive in West Des Moines. You can see that moisture still built up on the camera with some extra fog in the background as well. So Local 5's meteorologist Brandon Lawrence joining us now to talk more about what's going on outside. I was at least expecting some warm temperatures, Brandon, which sounds like... Yeah, we're still going to get there a little bit. They're almost here. Yeah, in the metro at least. It is one. I call this like a sleepy morning because it's yes, so thank hard. You. Yeah, it is so <laughs> hard to get through this with all this fog, chilly temperatures. I do, believe it or not, still expect us to get to at least 67 degrees today. I know that's hard to believe, and I'll show you why here in just a minute. We will have more thunderstorms coming in later this afternoon and this evening. Tomorrow, It'll be another cloudy day, so go ahead and prep yourself. There may be some peaks of sunshine, but wouldn't get hysterical and excited about it. 42 degrees the high, and then on Saturday, I think we have a little bit better shot at some sunshine, and it'll be 44 for the high. So you're wondering how in the world are we going to get into the 60s when we're still socked in with this fog and the cooler temperatures? Well, here's the thing. There's a warm front literally on our doorstep, which is a big mass of warm air coming in. It's already 72 degrees in Centerville, Iowa, near the Missouri state line. I just checked the latest temperature, and it's near the metro as well. So by noon, we should be up to 52, up to 55 at 2 o'clock. And then after the fog mixes out, if we can break into a tiny bit of sunshine, even just a few peaks, we get up there into the 60s by 4 o'clock. It's not the 70s that we were originally forecasting because we just won't have enough time to warm. But I still think we're going to shoot up pretty quickly going into the afternoon. And then just like that, we go back down 42 degrees by 10 o'clock tonight because that cold front, the second part of the system, will come in. So it is still 49 in the metro area. Fort Dodge is at 37. And then take a look at this across southern Iowa, already up to 60 in Ottumwa. 63 in Creston. So it is coming. There is warmer air on the way. It'll be dry now through at least the early afternoon and ahead of our next cold front, which will be coming in tonight. We're going to have more showers, more thunderstorms developing. We're thinking anytime after four o'clock this afternoon going through the evening, we will have the potential for pretty heavy rainfall, some strong gusty winds, Noisy storms too, thunder, lightning, and that'll stick around through about 10 p.m. And then it'll start to dwindle a little bit late in the night after midnight. And by early tomorrow morning, we may have a couple of flurries in northern Iowa as colder air settles in and all the moisture gets out of here. Notice we'll be just in the upper 30s by lunchtime tomorrow. We could get an additional three quarters to an inch of rainfall across our state with this next batch of showers and storms that arrives. And there is a risk for a couple of severe storms storms as well, mainly in this area highlighted in yellow. That's a slight risk. Here's what I think we could see when we get that warmer air out there, especially for southeast Iowa. There could be some hail. There could be some strong gusty winds, and it's a very low chance, but there is a risk for an isolated tornado, mainly east of the metro area. So this is all dependent on that warm air. Highs in the 70s to the south, 40s up north, and then tonight we're all back to the cold air. When you wake up tomorrow, we're all in the 30s, and I am still eyeing what happens this weekend. 44 on Saturday, 41 Sunday with that chance of rain and snow. I'm keeping an eye on it. I showed you this yesterday, the differences in our models. The American model still on the accumulating snow trend. That's the GFS and the European not so much. It thinks more on the rain side. So here's what I do know. We're going to see rain and snow in our state. Snow will be most likely up north. The line between rain and snow will split our state and there could be some flurries lingering into Monday. So process all of that. Highs <laughs> go into the 30s to start the week. And then maybe we could get a little quiet weather come Halloween. OK, uh, so appreciative of the warmer temps, but it sounds like that's what's fueling possibly some more severe weather. Right, and it's state. such a small window of warmer temperatures. So it's like one of those if you blink it, you miss because tomorrow morning it's going to be cold. All right, welcome Sorry. to Iowa in October. <laughs> Hello 2020. Right. All right, it's good to be informed and be prepared. So thank you, Brandon, very much of happening. What's happening outside still to come on Local 5 News Midday. Hey.